So it's the end of day two of GTC 25, and as you can probably hear, the night market is getting pretty lively. You know, this morning kicked off beautifully with the keynote from Jensen Huang. Some people queued for hours to get into the SAP Center just to get a seat in the auditorium, whilst others kick back here in the park in front of the giant screen. Uh, we went to the SAP Center. So I queued up at 7.40 in the morning. Uh, it was about half a mile long, but I got in and I had a, a great seat. So it was very close to the stage. I had a fantastic time. And the atmosphere of watching it live in person is very different to when you watch it online. So I uh, highly recommend anyone that has never been to do it. I think what's really important is how Jensen kind of shares the roadmap for the next couple of years. And so partners can really understand where it's going and how we adapt to it. But super excited about Spark, uh, DJX Workstation, and a good insight on the math around exactly why they're thinking about the scale of AI factories, right? And I think that's a, a new coined concept that's coming out. So yeah, pretty exciting stuff. You know, I'm pretty excited about uh, DJX Spark and the workstation. I think that brings it down to a level where, geez, we could do more on our desk than worrying about what infrastructure providers are. And I've had clients where you know, they've been in rural factories and things like that. So I'm thinking about all kinds of ways we could probably deploy that type of tech. But what I've actually felt was um, Jensen um, knows all the domain's problems. And he knows, he's actually an um, engineer guy. So he can actually can um, suggest the actual roadmap who, who engineers and researchers can actually feel the same. So it was so amazing. Look out for the highlights video of that keynote on the Scan AI YouTube channel. I also caught up with Jamie Allen and Aaron Luke from NVIDIA to discuss their highlights and takeaways from the keynote. We were bringing you those interviews in full, so keep an eye on our YouTube channel and our socials. There's still plenty more to come, of course, so join us tomorrow as we have a good look around the show floor. See you then.